So after the interview came out where former Will Smith's assistant came out and said, hey, hey, I just want to let y'all know something. Uh, I had walked in on Will Smith bent over a couch with Dwayne Martin behind him going to town. Well, he actually said killing it, right? And just the way that dude was saying it in an interview, they just sound, sound fucking painful. Man, it sound like it hurt. So apparently Will and Jada are looking at suing somebody <laughs> for this shit coming out, right? But it's kind of crazy in a way because it's like, if the guy actually saw what he saw and he's just telling what he saw, right? Like, what are you suing? Like, what, what are you suing about? I guess defamation of character or something like that. But if the dude is saying that he saw this and the guy is claiming that he got receipts, like he can he can prove like did this this happened you know what i'm saying like what's up with the whole well, I'm, I'm suing I, now bear with me all right now, now you might think i'm crazy but i think this story this rumor coming out could actually benefit will smith that's why i said it this story could actually help will smith and i'm gonna tell you why all right think about it the chris rock slap it made will smith look like a complete dickhead a complete asshole, right? Then you got the Jada uh, with the entanglement with the August Alcina situation, right? So then it made Will Smith look like a straight bitch, right? Everybody like dogging him and shit, blah, 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 blah. Then you got the Jada Pinkett book came out, right? Where she basically, you know, telling stories about like their, their relationship where, you know, they weren't together, they were together, she was unhappy and this and that. You got that scenario. Then you got her infatuation with Tupac, right? Basically making it seem like, you know, damn, nigga, I wish Tupac was here, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So all of that, just making Will Smith just look just, just not good. But then you got this story coming out, right? Basically saying, hey, hey, Will Smith gay, right? Basically. So look, there is not a better time in history to be gay than it is right now. Now, if Will Smith came out and just said, hey, you know, I went bent over the couch, but we were, you know, doing our thing, whatever. I know it may seem like crazy. He, he probably won't do that because, you know, he's from back in the day era. He's from the era of calling people gay was a bad thing. But now being gay popular as hell. Being gay is trendy as shit, right? So if, if Will Smith did come out if it was true and he admitted it, like, I think more people would like Will Smith. I think a lot of people would be like, oh, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, he come out with like a little rainbow shirt on and shit and just kind of just tell his story and just open up. I think he'll be bigger than ever. I think a lot of people would be like, oh, that's cool. Will Smith's gay, man. Like, that's what I'm talking about. The LGBTQ community, they gonna fuck with him. Tough, right? A lot of people who just respect his his uh his acting and everything they're gonna be like oh he gay so what right because a lot of people apparently in the industry a lot of people gay bisexual and all that shit so psh, they know already anyway i think this story coming out saying that he was gay it's only gonna really hurt will if he keep denying it and saying this is absolute bullshit and then if this dude somehow prove it that it happened now that's gonna keep on hurting will right because if it do come out, the, the gay community going to be like, oh, so you ashamed? You ashamed of us? Oh, OK, you too good to be gay, right? All I'm saying is, well, if you didn't do it right and you didn't mess with Dwayne Martin, OK, stick to your guns, man. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. But if you did do it, if you did and just come out and say you did, it's all good. But with all that being said, I still cannot wait for bad boys four. If you don't know who I am, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. F you, why you me? You probably thinking, what is that? It's the movement, it's the model, it's the answer to these critics when they hate themselves.